Hey folks, Jenna or Margriffin here, and tonight we're going to take a look at the Ari Cardo Tank, the ACT version 4. Um, I picked this up from Stormy's Vapor Cellar, which I think is the only place selling it in the United States. Um, let's take a look. So let's take a close-up look at the Ari Cardo Tank version 4. You get one solid metal tank with a you know small hole in the bottom. There's an O-ring down there in there to make a seal against your cardo. And then it has a top screw cap that also has an O-ring seal. The last piece it comes with is a modified 510 to 510 short connector that is sealed. So what you do is you take your punched cardo about 8 millimeters up for that hole. It's a little harder to measure than the other ones. Now at first this is a little tight but it does you know, work its way to be a little more manageable. And basically you push your cardo in there. And then once the connector is poking out the bottom, you attach this you know, screw in there so it is not a standard 510 to 510 connector, it is a little modified. Put that on there and that will basically hold your cardo in place and seal the bottom of the tank. Now if you have a dual coil cardo, it's going to stick up a little. So I'm going to just fill this up with some liquid. Ooh, this is obviously one of those bottles that I have not drilled the cap out bigger. So that you don't have to squeeze yourself like crazy. So I'm just going to pop the top off and do it in a messy way. Because I'm an impatient person. Fill it almost to the threads there. Now, there's a little O-ring in the center there, and I kind of don't want to rip that up on the top of my cardo like most tanks. So I am, although it isn't strictly necessary, going to use my Slap Your Mama little thingy here and just use that to make it to slip over that O-ring a little smoother so I don't destroy it. And that's pretty much all you need it for. And then push down and screw on that top until the O-ring pretty much disappears and you're set to go. Now, this is how Ari shows you to refill it, which is to take that modified 510 to 510 connector off the bottom. Push the cardo in. Now, there's still an O-ring seal all along the top cap. So you can pull that in and it won't leak out the bottom. You also won't really get any extra or overjuice in the tank, in the cardo itself, because you're not accessing the top. And then to just drip in here along the side. And then push the cardo back up. Now the problem being, one, I can't see how much juice is in there. I can't see how much I'm putting in there. And when I pop the cardo back through, squirt. Oh. Um, so I don't know, while this works, and I suppose it's fairly easy, um, it's not my preferred method. I kind of like the method I came up with on my own. Let's wipe this out a bit, put that cap back on, and I'll show you how I do it. Which may or may not be the correct method, so your mileage may vary. Basically, I turn it around, and I unscrew the cap. You know, pull it almost up to my drip tip so that it doesn't come all the way off and I don't have to redo that O-ring over the mouthpiece of the Cardo. Now this wouldn't work with a shorty Cardo, it does work with the XLs. With a shorty you'd have to take the, the top cap completely off. Then I can see how much juice is in there, and I can squirt some in, and then I can just slowly tighten the cap again until you can't see that black O-ring anymore. Now, obviously I don't drip very well, so... You have to get a little damp, but no major spillage messes. So that's my look at the Aricaro tank. Um, it worked really well. Because that uh, modified connector on the bottom there is uh, sealed, I don't get any of the juice coming out the bottom like we sometimes get. You know, when you've got it into the center post or there's too much gushing in through. I haven't had any of those problems. Um, even though it has that extra connector, it sits pretty flush and nice on most mods because the bottom where the other cardo is in is really recessed. If you're using a dew coil, it will stick up on top, but that's not such a big deal with a cool drip tip or something otherwise on there. 
um, really solid construction. You're not going to have stainless steel, so you're not going to have any problems with this with a juice that might, you know, attack a polycarbonate tank. The only drawback is really that you can't tell without opening it how much juice is left. So, you know, I have that problem where I get to the point that if I get burnt cardo, you can't ever get that flavor out of a cardo. So I pretty much know that I will vape most of it in a day and or, or keep an eye on how much I'm vaping it and then just open it up and top it up at night just to be sure that I don't get burnt cardo syndrome. Um, but other than that, especially if you've been having questions about using your atomic sinicide or whatever else and having problems with the tanks reacting to the chemicals in your juice, this won't do it. It works really well. It doesn't seem to have any leaking problems. It is probably the sturdiest solid construction tank that I have seen. The Aricotto tank version 4 works really well. I just wish I could see my juice. But other than that, I'm happy with it. $59.99 from stormysvaporseller.com. A little more expensive, but it's all steel.